language is a very important part of who we are. Nelson Mandela said, if you talk to a man in a language that he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to a man in his own language, that goes to his heart. The U.S. is a beacon of liberty and diversity, allowing individuals to use language of their choice makes good business sense. Bilingual education leads to a better developed child. Giving states the opportunity to represent their constituents in their own language is a more holistic approach in government representation. Using a multilingual approach impacts a country's economy in a positive way. Gabrielle Brunn from World Economic Forum states that Switzerland contributes attributes 10% of its GDP to multilingualism. It has four official languages, German, French, Italian, and Old Roman. Texas is another example of how allowing its business owners to use languages that, are more, that they are more comfortable with impacts the state's economy. Many Spanish-speaking business owners work with other Spanish-speaking companies. Small business owners are a major contributor and driving force of the state's economy, and, multi and multilingualism helped Texas survive the Great Recession better than any other, less diverse state. Bilingual education leads to a better developed child. Anne Kamenitz from National Public Radio states that bilingual education leads to better attendance higher self-esteem, happier students, and greater parent participation. Encouraging local governments to use the language of their constituents leads to a better representation. It is also important to remember that our nation is diverse. Allowing individuals to conduct business in their own language is good for the economy. Bilingual education prepares our children to be better competent in the world economy. Giving our local governments the ability to communicate with their constituents in their preferred language serves the citizens in a more inclusive way. Thank you.